Now, investigators don't know why they say Nehemiah slaughtered his family last week, but as we did mention, they do say that he was a fan of what are two very violent video games. In fact, just last week, President Obama said that he wants Congress to allocate funds to see if there might be a definitive connection between those violent video games and real life violence. So we sent our News 13's David Romero to see if New Mexico's congressional delegation thinks that that would be money well spent. David is now here with what they had to say. David? Elizabeth, this is the 15 page plan that Mr. Obama is submitting to Congress. And one major item in there is asking for money to look for links between video games, media images, and violence. Now, the White House justifies the increase in funds for the Centers for Disease Control to conduct the research by saying that 30,000 firearm related deaths occur each year, quote, enough to make it a public health crisis, end quote. Representative Ben Ray Lujan's office released the following statement to News 13 saying he is encouraged that the president is taking steps to look into the cases of gun violence. He also goes on to say, quote, I support funding efforts that can provide vital information about how we should move forward with the most effective public policy. Representative Steve Pierce said in a written statement while he agrees with the president that the cases of gun violence need to be examined, the research needs to be done in an unbiased, scientific and as neutral a manner as possible. Now, earlier last week, uh, Congresswoman Mich Michelle Lujan Grisham released a statement saying that she, she supports the president's plan. Yesterday, we did not get responses back from Senator Martin Heinrich or Senator Tom Udall's office. Meanwhile, the White House estimates the cost to do the research for the video games is going to be about $10 million. Elizabeth, back to you. Now that's a pretty penny. Okay, David, thank you for that information. In all, the president's plan features 23 executive orders focusing on gun violence. Matt.